COVID-19 watch list is approval from the state. The county qualified to come off that list today because our numbers have stayed below the state's requirement for a third consecutive day. And here are the latest numbers from the county. There are they are now reporting 406 new cases in San Diego County. That brings the total to just over 34,000. We also have seven new deaths. That brings that total to 622. The county says it's also tracking two new community outbreaks, one at a restaurant bar and one in a food processing center. Our ABC tennis reporter Mimi Alcala explains if we keep this up for 14 more days, schools K through 12 can reopen, but some parents aren't ready for their students to return. It's really hard. It's like a teeter totter of, you know, emotions and will students return to school in person this year or not? For parents like Marie Javago, the back and forth has become a bit overwhelming. She has two kids in high school and she's a teacher for the Chula Vista Elementary School District. I don't think the teachers are being notified, you know, by the district on exactly what to do. You know, we're just waiting for the word, you know, to come back. Friday, San Diego County officials announced we have officially been qualified to be taken off of the state's monitoring list after meeting the requirements for three days in a row. But it's not official just yet. The state still needs to review the county's COVID-19 data before taking us off that list. Once we are off, we would have to continue meeting the requirements for 14 days straight for schools K through 12 to be able to reopen for in-person learning, something many parents have been anxiously waiting to hear. But not everyone is ready. 14 days is not enough. It's it's like we're like we are, you know, guinea pigs. And what about businesses that are still desperate to reopen? That's still unclear. So Mayor Kevin Faulkner sent this letter to Governor Gavin Newsom asking for clarification and guidelines, saying that no process currently exists for reopening places like gyms, houses of worship, personal care services, barbershops and salons, just to name a few. He went on to write, we ask that the state provide clear and consistent guidance so that businesses and employees can better plan for their future as they struggle to survive. For now, it's another what if as parents eagerly wait to see what happens next. All the questions need to be answered before we even open. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10.